Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to share with you my top 10 picks for fall. And then there's one kind of extra bonus one at the end. But um, these are the scents that I am so excited to rock in this autumn season. And I don't know about you guys, but I love fall. I love the leaves on the trees turning colors. I love it when they fall on the ground and you can walk through them or, or jump in them. Uh, I just love it. I love the apples on the trees, the, you know, just the bounty that comes at fall time. I love the, the cozier, cooler weather. Uh, I just love autumn. So, and as well, what I find is that I gravitate towards the dramatic, just generally speaking. So in clothing, I like the deeper, darker colors. Uh, in the perfumes, I love the deeper, darker smells. Yes, indeed, do I ever. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. Before I do, if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just go ahead and, go ahead and subscribe indeed and uh, join the weird and wonderful family i would love to have you a part of it go ahead and hit that notification button uh so you get notified of the videos and yeah uh, i guess that's all i have to say for now so let's get started so my first of my top 10 is killian princess now i just have the travel spray of this one uh, i'll put a picture of the full bottle up here it's quite cool uh, but i just love the scent now this one this one, there's quite a few notes in this one actually, but what I primarily get out of it is green tea, ginger, and marshmallow. And it smells, it smells amazing. It smells cozy. It smells like a delicious drink uh, that you've powdered somehow and smooshed all over yourself. It's just amazing. Like it's good. It's really, really good. And it's kind of surprising because, you know, you think of the ginger and the tea and you would think fresh, but when it's paired with that marshmallow, it's so edible and amazing. It's very cozy. Uh, it's not cloying. It sits on the skin nice and I just love this. To me, this is a super warm, cozy gourmand that's absolutely phenomenal. I actually was gonna include this in my gourmands and forgot and chose different ones, but I love this one. It's not uh, a major projector on me, but it does have decent longevity. And I think that this one's amazing. I'm gonna wear this one a lot. And when this runs out, I'll likely get a big bottle. <laughs> yeah. Now my next one, I've mentioned it before, uh, but it is Elizabeth and James Nirvana Rose. Now, first of all, I absolutely love this bottle. I just think this screams fall. It screams like, <laughs> kind of like a cigar room. It, it totally gives me cigar uh, room vibes or a cigarette room or some sort of business like that. But like, look at this bottle. Like this bottle is amazing. I love it. So um, anyway, the scent inside. This one has uh, rose geranium and vetiver. Uh, so it's really simple. It's definitely rose heavy, but with that vetiver, it gives a bit of spice. And to me, this one comes across is like a deep uh, Merlot. I'm kind of making that up because I don't know if a Merlot is super deep, but like a nice deep red wine uh, with roses somehow. Uh, that's what I get from this. So off the cuff, you get this rose burst, but it smells like there's a lot of wine uh, around. And to me, it just smells so fall. Uh, it just screams fall to me. This one smells like uh, I am dressed in a nice sweater with some uh, brown leather boots that come up the leg and I've got a scarf on and I'm walking through the woods and the leaves are crunching under my feet and I smell like this and I smell freaking fabulous. <laughs> this one is awesome. If you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend. Although, I don't think it would be for everyone. Like some people say it kind of smells a little bit niche -y. I don't know. Uh, I can't tell the difference to be quite frank, but uh, I do find this one to be really, really beautiful and dramatic and I love the wine and rose. So um, it definitely wouldn't be for everyone because it's got that rose in it. But if you're a lover of rose and wine, I would definitely suggest this one. The next scent that I have, I just have a decant of it. Uh, it's from my friend Nisha from Spicy Looks and she had sent me the rollerball and I just decanted it because I prefer the spray. 
Uh, this one is Prada La Femme. I first heard about this from Karina Waldron. I love her channel, as I've said before, and um, she raved about this one, so I thought, oh, okay, it's gotta be good. So I went in and sprayed it, and I thought to myself, what the heck? Like, it's just so much tuberose. And so I thought, well, I guess I guess I disagree with Karina, which was amazing because I usually agree with her. And so I was kind of disappointed. I'm driving in the car and I keep sniffing it. All of a sudden, as it settles down, I start to get the, these spices coming out and I'm like just in love with it, like in love with it. In the opening, this perfume has carrot seeds, which is so bizarre, bergamot and magnolia. And then in the uh, mid, you get tuberose, uh, ylang ylang, frangipani, but also spices. In the dry down, you get vanilla, vetiver, and honeycomb. So what this actually smells like to me is tuberose. Like I get the tuberose for sure. Uh, I get the spices majorly uh, in those mid and dry downs. And then I also get the, a little bit of waxy sweet from the honeycomb and a little bit of spice from that vet vetiver. I don't really notice the ven vanilla. So to me, this one is absolutely gorgeous. It smells like a really, really expensive, clean woman. <laughs> so to me, when I smell this, I think rich powerhouse woman. You know, a woman that's getting out of a vehicle that she hasn't driven. I don't know why it's always getting out of a vehicle, but I just imagine New York and she's dressed, uh, she's dressed in a fancy uh, suit. Uh, it's always gotta be like light colors, which is crazy because I always wear dark colors. But anyway, in, in my whatever, she's this gorgeous woman. She gets out, she's got her quaff going on, she's got her makeup just so, and she is intimidating, but she smells fabulous. She smells incredible. She smells like a lot of money. And that is this perfume, This is that's what this perfume is to me. So when I wear this, I smell like a really rich, slightly mean woman <laughs> that really showers a lot. <laughs> No, this one really, really smells good. And what I love about this one, honestly, uh, is the spices. As it warms up on the skin, I love that little bit of a kick of spice. So where you get the white florals to begin with that smell quite clean, uh, then as it dries down, you get that little hint of spice, that little hint of cinnamon. And to me, it's, it's just amazing. So I love that one, Prada La Femme. For myself, I find that white florals uh, can be a little bit cloying, so I tend to want to wear them more in the fall and the winter, uh, just because they're, yeah, if, if not the cooler weather, then I find them too heavy. So I'm really excited to wear this one. Now the next uh, few uh, you guys are really familiar with, so I won't spend too much time on them. The first one is Alien. It, let's face it, Alien's amazing. I love this one. I would consider this one more of a day scent. To me, it's not too heavy to pull off during the day, especially during uh, social distancing season. So with the cooler weather, with social distancing, this one to me is fine for day. Uh, this one is Jasmine, Woody Notes, and Vanilla. This one is a powerhouse. Uh, it's It's got that sweet Jasmine, but it's not like, um, this one is really clean white floral. This one is a little bit, a little bit more, I guess the word would be indolic, a little bit more um, sensual smelling. Um, so I, I like that a lot, but there still is a bit of a soapy vibe to this one, uh, which at first put me off. I'm like, ew, it's too soapy smelling. But now I think it's, it's a sexy soapy, if that makes sense. Um, I just think it's amazing. So I am super pumped to wear this uh, a lot, actually, this fall. Now, the next one is her deeper, darker si sister, and that is Alien Essence Absolute. Now, this one is getting harder to find, but I have a dupe coming. Uh, so I will I'll keep you posted as to how close it is. Uh, because it's it's a decent price for sure. So this smells like alien, but as well you've got vanilla, myrrh, incense, things like that, which really amps up the resinous quality of this one. And it just, to me, smells 
so sexy, so amazing. Um, both of these, like if ever there was an alien, um, like what would it be? It would be a predator. So these are slightly predatorial. This one's sexy. This one is like way sexy. So if, if this was a predator, to me, <laughs> I think of a panther. Like, you know, where panthers kind of look like this. I, as if I can look like a panther, but you know how panthers, like they kind of, <laughs> so ridiculous, but anyway, they like, they're like kind of coming towards you with their big long legs and their yellow eyes are staring up at you. Somehow that's what this reminds me of. It just smells predatorially amazing. <laughs> Uh, interestingly, at first, I wasn't crazy about this one because it um, it smelt too medicinal. Like that first burst, it almost somehow smells a bit m like there's a menthol to it, which I think is probably the myrrh. Uh, but it, like at first, it's got this weird kind of medicinal sense to it a little bit. And then that kind of just mellows right out into this beautiful incense-y vanilla and it's super resinous. I love this one. I'm super excited to wear this one. This one, like I said, is more of an evening scent, uh, but I can't wait to rock this baby because she is stunning. Now the next perfume I have for you, I've talked about quite a lot so I won't talk long, and that is um, Olympia Intense by Paco Rabanne. Now this one has three notes as well. It's got salt, vanilla and amber and it is just amazing. Uh, it's really warm. Now normally when I think of salt notes uh, I, I think of summertime and definitely uh, this one I feel like you can rock it in the evenings in the summertime but to me this one's beautiful for the fall as well because it's so warm, deep, dark, sexy. Uh, I just love it. And that salt note is something that I actually crave like especially when I'm at home I'll go by, and this is the one that I oftentimes will pick up because uh, it smells like a sweet, salty snack. Like, I'm telling you, this one's good. Now, this one I don't think is for everybody because of the salt note, but I love it. When, and when I first smelt it, I thought to myself, wait, this is way too sweet. Uh, but, like, the more I went and sniffed it, the more I just kind of fell in love with it. So don't discount this one if you smell it for the first time and it kind of smacks you in the face and you go, ugh, give it, a, give it a few goes because you might be surprised at how much you end up liking this one. So anyway, Olympia Intense. The next one that I'm super excited about is Maison, Maison Margiela's Replica uh, by The Fireplace. And this one, this one is amazing. Like, ugh. Oh. Oh, like this one smells like, this one is a whole vibe, like big time whole vibe. First of all, this one's unisex. Men could wear this one. In fact, I'm trying to convince my husband to wear it uh, because I think he would smell so amazing with it on. This one has uh, kind of bizarre notes. It's got like chestnut in it. It's got marshmallow. It's got guyac wood, which gives this fire vibe. So this one totally smells like an experience. It smells like you're sitting by the fire. You can smell the wood. You can smell the fire. You know that smell, right? So that's what it smells like. But then you're roasting chestnuts and marshmallows on the fire. And I've said this before, but you roast your marshmallow, you get it almost perfect, and then you accidentally lit, light it on fire, start screaming, pull it back, blow on it, and you shove it in your mouth, and you have that bit of char and the marshmallow and the fire, and that's exactly what this smells like. So I just think that this is amazing. Um, when you first put this on, that guyac wood, which kind of smells like a burning fire, it's pretty potent. So this isn't for the faint of heart. I think some people might find this one to be uh, just a, a little bit much, uh, or if, if, uh, I think some women would find this too masculine, uh, but I just think it's somehow like super deep and it's, it's just cool to me. So the, as, as you wear it on your skin, the fire starts to die down, becomes a bit of an ember, and you get that warm, it's like a nutty marshmallow vanilla uh, that you're left with. And that little bit of fire stays the whole entire time you're wearing the perfume, but it really mellows out into this yummy marshmallow deliciousness. This one, again, 
totally unisex in my opinion. So not every girl's going to love it, but uh, it, it's definitely worth a sniff because to me it's a whole, it's a whole vibe, man. Like it's a whole experience in this bottle. Uh, and I definitely love it. I just, yeah, I can't wait to wear this one on, on the cooler days. Definitely the cooler days. The next perfume that I have is Casimir by Chopard. So this one, uh, I first heard about this from Deborah Day. And if you guys haven't ever checked out her channel, go, I'll leave it linked below. Go check her out. She's so sweet. And she's got a beautiful collection. And this one she raves about. So this one was in her top 10 for life. So that's how much she adores this scent. And um, so I just thought to myself, I have to have it. And then I went on for a uh, fragrance buy. That's or a kind of discount website in Canada, and it was like $36. So such a good price for 100 mils. And this perfume, uh, it's really interesting. Now, it was made in the 90s, so some people say it has that real major 90s vibe. I wasn't really into perfumes in the 90s too much, so I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell that. I'm sorry. Like, I'm just too newbie to know the difference between a 90s smell and a now smell, really. Uh, but what I do get out of this is the a vanilla apricot. Uh, now, there is a ton of notes in this. Like, it's just a mosh of notes. There's so many, it's it's insane. But, but uh, primarily what you get out of this is a peachy apricot vanilla. And I love it. Now, there's cinnamon in this as well, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get it, because cinnamon is one of my favorite smells. But I can't smell the cinnamon on this. Now, I sprayed it on my arm. No, I can't smell cinnamon. I smell that apricot continually, uh, and the vanilla. But I, I unfortunately don't smell the cinnamon, but I really like this one nonetheless. And for whatever reason, I think I'm on a grandma kick because I talked about her the other day. She was like, honestly, she was one. I feel almost like crying now. Wow, I'm kind of a mess today. Uh, she was the sweetest lady. Like she, she just loved, she loved with her whole heart. Why am I bawling about this? This is so crazy. Oh, isn't it weird how things will just bring back memories? Like, you know, that's the cool thing I think about perfume is that you know, there's sometimes, you know, scents that really evoke a memory or emotion. Like for this one, this one just, you know, warm comfort, sitting by the fire, roasting marshmallows. Those are some of my favorite times. This, for whatever reason, reminds me of my grandma. I'm not sure why other than the fact that she always talked about apricots, <laughs> but she always called them apricots and she'd always have dried apricots at her house. She also called almonds almonds. Uh, but she, she like this somehow just reminds me of her. She never smelt like this. Her house never smelt like this other than, you know, she always ate apricots. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why, but to me, this is just, it doesn't smell like a grandma, but it reminds me of my grandma. And so I love it and it makes me happy. It's very sweet. Um, some people, like I think Mila LeBlanc, said it smells like an apricot tart, uh, you know, with the pastry and that whole vibe with a little bit of cinnamon in there. I can see that. Like, I get that that kind of idea. So uh, this one is definitely worth checking out. It is, like, quite, like, it's syrupy sweet, in a sense, with that apricot uh, and peach-ish smell. Uh, but I do think it's really pretty, and like I said, uh, because it reminds me so much of my grandma, I ain't getting rid of this one. If you guys know of a really good perfume that has a cinnamon note in it, uh, let me know because I definitely want that. But nevertheless, this one's really pretty and I'm happy to have it. Now the next one I'm not going to talk about too long because I've talked about it uh, plenty in the past, but it is Angel Muse. And this one... This one I love. Um, this one I do not, like a lot of people get like a, a Nutella vibe from it. I don't really. I get more of that grapefruit and patchouli. So it smells like a, a sweet tea to me. Eventually I get that hazelnut in it. It, op it opens with uh, grapefruit and pink pepper. And then uh, there's chocolate hazelnut spread. And then in the dry down is vetiver and patchouli. So to me, it smells a bit like a sweet tea. 
and then eventually in the dry down I do get a little bit of that hazelnut note but this one I don't know what it is about this one but I find it really comforting I think patchouli is my friend I find that patchouli makes my stomach settle and I don't know it, I find it comforting I love wearing this one to bed but I love wearing this one all day uh, when we actually went into the mountains I put this one on because I was freezing uh, it was in the summertime but I was just freezing we left out like four in the morning and so I put this perfume on and I just enjoyed myself <laughs> all day like I just sat there sniffing myself sniffing myself in the car just enjoying the ride but um yeah this one I love I think it's beautiful it's rather affordable too uh so I highly recommend this one and especially in the fall season uh I'm so excited to wear this one um if you find that you're not a huge patchouli fan uh and find it too sharp um I would definitely also recommend Angel EDT. Uh, it has passion fruit in the opening. Uh, it's a little bit more fruity, a little less uh, patchouli, and it's quite beautiful. And you also get that chocolate note. So if you want something like that, check out the EDT. It's pink in color. And on the note of the EDT, uh, make sure that you go and check out, I'll leave it linked up uh, here, uh, my 1,000 subscriber haul and giveaway. I have a bottle of Angel Muse EDT that I'm giving away. And all the instructions on how to enter that uh, giveaway are in that video in the description box. So go check that out. I would love for you to participate. And it's going on for another week, so till September 16th. Uh, 2020 so go check that out if you want now the last perfume of my top 10 is Michael Kors Starlight Shimmer now I bought this one I went to into the store I smelt this one and I was instantly mesmerized by, <laughs> by its beauty like instantly I loved it and I, I just I had to have it so I bought it and I put it I had sprayed it on me as soon as I got in the car I spray myself with it and I'm driving and I'm thinking, what does this smell like? Like, what, what does this smell like? And then I realized that it smelled like Shake Off Oud or Oud Bouquet, but kind of a lighter, uh, tamer version of it. So this one has a rose, saffron, and amber. Uh, but to me, it smells a little bit oudy, but a very light oud. So to me, this one is a great perfume uh, for a daytime if you like that kind of rose amber like it, it it's really quite sweet so it, it smells like it's got vanilla in it it smells it just it just smells delicious I, I just love it but it's a it's very similar to Oud Bouquet or Shake Off Oud but a lighter version so if you find that one too heavy uh, this is a lighter I would say sweeter version of that so for me I'm gonna wear this one during the day as well like, I, I hope my colleagues don't hate me. <laughs> uh, I'll, but again, we're social distancing, so maybe they won't notice me as much, but I just find this one super delicious, quite sexy, uh, very fall appropriate. So yes, uh, Starlight Shimmer by Michael Kors. Gorgeous. Now that was my top 10. I have a plus one and it's not a perfume, but I'm so in love with it and I have to mention it to you guys. And it is Sugared Cherry Crisp by Bath & Body Works. And maybe that's super cheese ball, but this thing smells so delicious. I can't, I basically want to eat it. Like I want to squirt it in my mouth and I want to eat it. It smells that good. It's a deep dark cherry. Now what it says on the back is bright cherry delight, crumbled graham cracker, and spun vanilla sugar. And I can say yes to all those things. That's exactly what this smells like. Oh, it's so delicious. And it gives me like that Tom Ford lost cherry. Like, you know how much I'm in love with that one and want it so bad, but it's too much money and it's not long, it doesn't last long enough. So this actually gives me that same kind of vibe. So I'm using that for now. I'm mixing this honestly with the only one intense because for whatever reason, I just love the cherry with the coconut and it smells like a dessert. I smell like, I basically want to <laughs> lick myself. Like seriously, it smells really good. So I love this. I've got the shower gel. I've got the lotion. I think I'm going to go back and get a whole other set of it. 
uh, because I want to wear this all fall and winter. It's so delicious. So if you get a chance, go into Bath and Body Works and check this out. It's super affordable, great lasting power on this uh, lotion, and it's I find them hydrating. So I really like these shea butter lotions. Anyway, um, I know it's not a perfume, but it sure smells delicious. It smells edible, and and yeah, it's just. I just can't stop smelling this. And it really does smell like cherry, graham wafer cracker, vanilla. It's very yummy. So highly, highly recommend this lotion. And that's it. So here's my, oh, I feel sad. My 10 are over. I laughed. I cried. It was a little bit of a train wreck. I hope that you appreciated it. And I hope you guys have an amazing week. Happy fall season. And we'll talk to you soon.